Hello, Dolphin users. Now let's talk about uh, the Western Digital Hard Drive ROM Write. So about the ROM Write for Western Digital Hard Drives, it's not difficult. Now we just try to enter the software program. We can find one menu called ROM Operations. Now we go inside this menu. We can find Read ROM. So we can simply read this ROM at a high speed. Now ROM read OK, and we can also write the ROM. Now we write the ROM. So during the ROM write, we can find the program will firstly to check if the ROM matches with the original hard drive. If the ROM matches, the log window will display one message that is the ROM deep test passed. So about this function, the program will check the ROM size and the front part of the ROM content. If these two basic elements of the ROM is correct, so the program will pass the ROM test. Then the program will start to write. However, when users have one cases of Western digital hard drives which are not detected or keeps busy. So users need to manage to get the drive ready and detected. At this time, one of the methods is to find the dollar ROM and dollar loaders from one dollar drive. So at this time, how to find the dollar firmware? That means dollar ROM and dollar loaders. Now here I teach one method. Now let's try to find the firmware resources. Usually, Dorfin Data Lab has prepared the firmware resources within the file sharing platform of Dorfin Data Lab. So users just need to visit the files.dorfindatalab.com to find the shared firmware resources. Now let's go to the Summary resources. So we understand that it's one Western digital hard drive, it's Marvel family. Now here we can find there are many families of Western digital hard drives. Now we let's check the family name. The family name is M-I-D-O-R-I. -I. So we can find the same family name and then it's the best we can find the dollar firmware with the same microcode. Otherwise, it may destroy the hard drive if you write the wrong firmware resources to the hard drive. Because each hard drive has unique firmware resources, especially the ROM and some key firmware modules on the piece on the platters. So now we have found the dollar firmware with the same family name. Now what we need to check next is the microcode. The microcode um, displayed on the program. This one is from the ROM. So this is ROM microcode. Now we, if the hard drive needs to boot correctly, then we need to find the dollar firmware with the same microcode. The same as the microcode from the ROM. That's the SA microcode. SA microcode can be found from the module 11. So we can compare this one. Uh, so these two microcodes, they are the same. So we need to find the microcode uh, 300EV. Now let's check if we can find the same one. 300E. So at this time, we can find there is no firmware resources with exactly the same microcode. So for this kind of situation, we need to find one firmware resources with the closest microcode. So let's check which one is the closest. ES. So this one is the microcode. The closest one microcode from resources. So we can use the firmware resources here. 
We can write the ROM first, write this dollar ROM. We can see the ROM size is 192 KB. And the original ROM size, let's check the original ROM size. Okay, so the, Z, the ROM size is the same. And then we check the, this is the dollar firmware. So remember, the same family name, closest microcode, and the same ROM size. So only by this way to find the ROM, to find the dollar firmware, and users will not destroy the hard drive. If you write ROM from different family or from uh, resources with different microcode, then this kind of ROM write will destroy the hard drive. So when users get the dollar firmware resources, users can come back to the DFLWD firmware repair program and then write the ROM and then write the dollar noters. The noters means the module 11. Here is the dollar firmware. Now we can check all the modules here. This copy zero. Now we can see the module 11, module 13. These are the loaders. Usually we can uh, load the module 13 first and then load the module 11. If there are no module 13, then we just need to load module 11. Within uh, WD from repair to of the FL, then users can load these nodes automatically so users can use the function load nodes automatically here auto load ata users just need, need to give the parts of the firmware resources the parts of the firmware resources and for example this one and then you select this folder then the program will start to load the loaders automatically. So this is easy with the DFL Western Digital Firmware Repair tool. So thank you for watching this video about the ROM read and write and the ROM dollar ROM searching.